How do rich people think differently? Why are wealthy people wealthy? What do they do that poor people don't? And so we're all people, right? But poor people and wealthy people do things differently. I have videos on my channel about this, but today we're going to talk about this specific chart and this specific thing on how wealthy people become wealthy. Let's talk about it. So when looking at this chart, this is so fantastic and it's a great visual and I love having visuals on how to build wealth or on anything. It just really helps it click for me. And so one thing, they both have jobs. So both wealthy people and poor people or not as wealthy people, they have jobs. But the big thing is that is their only income. And so you want to think how much money can you get in? And if you have more income sources, you're probably going to have more money. Yes, you could have you could be thinking, a lot of people thought this way. I know I used to think this way, like, okay, what's your income? I make $40,000, I make 80,000, he makes 250,000, she makes a million dollars. Okay, that's just the salary. But it's not just about your salary. It's not just about your nine to five. And there's other ways to make money, which I have a ton of videos on my channel about this. And I'm gonna be doing a video on Tim Ferriss's The 4-Hour Work Week to start thinking about passive income, et cetera. And I have the easiest form of passive income on my channel as well. Check that out. But they have multiple income streams. So it's not just their job. So they have an income, the poor people, but it's typically just one job and they're trading their time for money where you have to go to your job, physically be there, and then you get money back. But instead, wealthy people, they might have a job like that. They might have rental income. They might have dividend income, interest, royalties, things of that nature, or other things that are working for them. And so how do they have that? What is interest? What is royalties? What are these dividends? And so they get this money because they have assets. And that's another key distinction from poor people and wealthy people is that wealthy people have assets. So they take the money that they make from their job or from whatever. And typically it starts with a job from that income. And then they put the money, they pay themselves first into assets. Poor people, they just put it into their liabilities because both rich people and poor people, they both have liabilities. They both have mortgages, um, car loans, etc. Typically, poor people have more consumer debt and credit card loans and school loans, etc. And so that is something to think about too. But the biggest thing is they have multiple income streams and then they also have more assets. And to get multiple income streams, typically you have to put the money that you're making into assets. And so assets can be things like real estate, it can be stocks, it can be bonds, it can be notes, intellectual property, etc. And so my advice and what you can take away from here is to figure out how you can expand your income, figure out how you can expand your skills. How can you make more money, but then invest that money into assets, into things that will make you more money, right? You want your money to work for you. You don't want to just have to go out and work and trade your time for money, right? That is okay. That's a good thing. I love getting to do my job and helping people, but you want, if you want to get rich, if you want to get wealthy, you have to start thinking differently and bigger and figure out how you can earn money while you sleep and build assets for yourself. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you have assets? What assets do you have? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.